What's up, fam bam? It's Cece back today for a quick glam video. So I'm gonna show you how I do my quick, fast, glamorous look. It's pretty easy, you guys. It's not like anything too crazy. It looks great, but we're not spending a million hours on blending eyeshadows and all of this nonsense. And we're not doing contour with creams and then with the powders and all that shit. So you can get this beautiful, flawless face with minimum effort and minimum time. And that is what we are going for today. So if you wanna get glam quick, this is the video for you. Make sure that you are subscribing. Subscribles, hit the notification button so that you can see whenever I'm uploading. And of course, follow me on social media. Why are we not friends on Instagram or Snapchat? All my handles are at Sienna Spalding. Let's get started. Don't scream here's my face with no makeup here we go oh. I obviously am beautiful right now <laughs> it's my just freshly spray tanned face so that's why I look so incredibly shiny right now and that's also why I'm wearing my party rock onesie this is basically my outfit that I wear every time I go get spray tanned and I'm sure the people at the spray tan place think that I have no clothing I absolutely love it. And for those of you who are new to my channel, you will know that I used to be on tour with Red Foo and I was part of the Party Rock crew, so that is why I have so much Party Rock clothing. Let's motherfucking start. <laughs> Could I be any weirder? I don't think so. So I'm just spraying my beauty blender. I do this sometimes. I put like lotion on the beauty blender and then I'll put it on. So I'm actually putting eye cream on first and then I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base and I just stick, that's probably, yo, that's probably so unsanitary, I'm sorry. But it's mine, I don't use it on anybody else. So I can be as unsanitary as I want. Let's glam this face up, shall we? One of the first things I should do is put in my contacts. Okay, this is my quick glam. So I'm gonna use Lisa Wattier. Lisa Wattier? I don't know if I say it right. Primer. Silicone y type of primers that feels super soft on your skin. So I just kind of smooth it all over and I'll smooth it into the neck. Your neck is the neighbor to your face. So you should treat it with kindness. Give it the same fabulous treatments that you give your face because your neck is gonna grow old with you too, not just your face. So after primer, the first thing that I do is I put an orange concealer under my eyes because your girl sometimes be having purple under eyes. I don't know why, but it just happens. So I just put a tiny bit. So I just blend it in so it's super pale. Then I go in with my regular foundation. Now because I am spray tan, I think I'm gonna blend my Derma Blend with my Peach Perfect from Too Faced. Shockingly, I really love this foundation. It smells like peach and I thought it was just gonna be like kind of janky. No offense, Too Faced. I love Too Faced, but it's actually an amazing foundation. I love it. So I'm gonna do like one pump in the color sand and a tiny bit from the color bronze from Derma Blend. Also, Derma Blend foundations are legit as well, you guys. If you want to cover up and if you want that shit to last, try Derma Blend. Plus, this is made for your body, okay? 3.4 fluid ounces. That's probably three and a half, almost four times the amount of foundation that you're getting in something like this, which is technically leg and body cover, but I use it on my face and it's perfectly fine. I know breakout, nothing. Panda's been using this too. It looks amazing. It lasts forever because it's so much product and it's the same price as the foundations that give you one fluid ounce. So if you want a money saving tip, girl, Get you some Derma Blend. It's incredible. It's so good. And Derma Blend was like known for covering tattoos and stuff. Like that's how they got started. That's like their claim to fame. This still might be too dark, you guys. I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. We're just going for it. Fuck it. <laughs> like every time on my channel, I'm like, fuck it. Blend this in with my Artiste brush, which broke right here. So I had to use Gorilla Glue to put it back together because this is one of my favorite brushes of all time. If you ever had a doubt about an Artiste brush, don't. They are so amazing. So I'm gonna blend that down into my neck. Blend so fast, like they're so quick to use. It cuts your foundation applying time in half. No, this is not sponsored by Artiste. It's just a fucking good ass brush. Make sure your neck is matching. What did we just say? That your neck is the cousin? Wait, no. <laughs> I said that it was 
the neighbor. Okay, your neck is your face's neighbor, so you it needs to match. It needs to blend in seamlessly. So put that foundation on your neck, girl. I'm serious. And also, your ears are neighbors too. So don't. <laughs> Don't forget your ears. We're going in with this infamous Shape Tape by Tarte. Everybody uses this concealer. Why? Because it's good. It doesn't crease. It's creamy. They have a decent array of colors. They don't have enough colors, honestly. They really don't. But the ones that I have found, they work for me. I personally can't complain. And then I'm going to bounce it in with the Wet Beauty Blender. I usually start on the chin and then I work my way up. I do under the eyes last. So it has the most time to kind of like dry on my face. When you're using your Beauty Blender, I know you guys probably already know this, but I can't reiterate it enough. Like you really want to pounce. Pounce, 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 just like this. You don't want to be smushing it, smearing it, rubbing it. That's not going to give you the look that you want. And you got to make sure that your beauty blender is wet. Like mine was still wet from yesterday. That's why I only sprayed it a couple times. But literally like put it under the sink, faucet and squish it and open it, squish it and open it and wait till it expands. Then you can squeeze out the excess water. But I told my friend how to use this. I showed Kelly how to do it. You guys probably know Kelly Maglia is uh, one of my closest friends and she is is a costume designer and we did a collaboration with CC Panda and Kelly Maglia and anyway I showed her how to use the beauty blender and I gave her one and she was like I didn't know you're supposed to wet it and I was like girl I showed you how to do this I don't know people forget things you know so she's been putting on her foundation with a dry beauty blender bitch what no I came over one day and I was like are you serious then I use the same damp beauty blender. I pounce it out on the fat side and then I use the skinny side for the powder. So I use my Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder. I tap some here, get it on your beauty blender, bam, press it into the skin. Press it in there. This is really gonna make your foundation last. And it's gonna stop the creasing of the concealer. And this is the translucent from Laura Mercier, not the brightening under eye one. I don't like that one. I just feel like this one's smoother. And you can use it whether you're tan or whether you're pale. So anywhere else you want on your face not to crease or not to move, do that. So I like to do my smile lines. I basically do everywhere I put the concealer. Do my chin. I even do my nose. The top of my forehead right here. For shits and giggles, we'll do the sides here because a lot of people do this. I don't usually cut out the cheekbones right there. It pretty much melts into the skin. There's not much to dust away. My Makeup Forever powder. Guys, the one thing I hate about Makeup Forever is they don't put the numbers on. It's like, I don't know what number powder this is. So, I take a big fluffy, get a bunch of powder on your brush, and then I dust it all over. And this has a double effect of brushing off the powder that you already put and the parts that don't have powder on will get this darker powder applied. Coffee break. The next thing that I do is I'll go in with a bronzer. So I've been using this one from MAC. It's called Give Me Sun. It's a mineralized skin finish. And I will take a kind of big brush and kind of dust this loosely around the cheek area. I'm not carving out the cheekbones. I'm just making a general wash of color around my face in those areas. You know, that sun glow look. That, oh, I just came back from the beach look. Show me your tan lines look. And then I'll do it under my jawline too. And it also makes like a good transition for when you start carving out with the contour. <laughs> The Anastasia Contour Kit, this is the powder one. Look at how I've hit pan on every single one of these, except for that whack-ass highlighter. Have you guys ever tried the highlighter that comes into the Anastasia Contour Kit? It's not cute. It's like, what the hell were you thinking? But anyway, I kind of mix together the three browns, and then I go in and carve out the cheekbones, and then I go under the jawline too, and blend it down, and then I'll do sometimes right around the forehead as well. You take a skinny brush, either fluffy one, I don't care what kind of brush you use, just something small. This one's a dual-ended one. I have no idea where it's from. Hold on, yes I do. Vera Mona. Then contour the sides of the nose, and I use the color Fawn, which is that middle one, because it's kind of got a grayish undertone, so it looks more like a shadow. I, I start on this part of my nose, 
this is the shit right here like this is what really changes your face is the nose contour you will not see me out without a nose contour anymore you guys I don't know if you saw the um, Instagram post that I put up recently I'll put it right here so you can see but this is the difference between no contour and the nose contour like it is a massive difference in pictures it looks like I got a nose job and I did not because if I did I would tell you guys I am not scared of sharing my body modifications with you guys as you know if you're new to my channel then you probably haven't seen it yet but I have two videos on my channel you can search called all about my boobs literally is just that it's a video talking about my breast augmentation my implants so I'm truthful with you guys about that stuff. All right, we're gonna do the tip of the nose because I like it to look like a little turned up button nose. Then you wanna blend that line so it's not such a harsh, weird situation on your face. Blend it down the sides of the bridge of your nose a little bit. And then I just kind of pat this part down. We're trying to blend. Then I'll usually take my beauty blender and go in with the one of the light powders in the contour kit and put it down the center of my nose and right on the tip here. On the tip. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> if you ever had a question on if I had a dirty mind, I think that just answered it for you. <laughs> and I'm just blending it together so it looks a little bit less contoured, you know what I'm saying? And my favorite eyebrow pencil is the It Oh, hey. It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. I don't even think this comes in any colors. I think it's literally just what it says. Universal. It's like one color. It's like this ashy brown. And it literally works for like almost all brows. It's crazy. The pencil is kind of like hard, you know? Like it's more of a waxier, harder pencil. It's not so creamy, not so soft, which I do not like that. So I just gently put it in to kind of softly define and fill in my brows and to add that little wing at the end and the arch up here. So you can see the difference between that snatched brow and the non-snatched brow, which I have full brows anyway. You don't have to do much to mine, but this is the same thing that you guys would do if, even if you're filling in more. You just give little flicks softly to fill areas you need. And then up here I like to go a little heavier because I like to create that arched look. Illamasqua, or Illamasqua blush. This one is in the color Excite. I have had this same fucking blush. No lie, I, I just go boop like that and that's it. Look at how much product comes off. That's insanity, okay? This is the most pigmented blush of your life. It's a little bit expensive, but I've had it for like five years. I use it every day. I'm not even exaggerating. That's not even a joke. It's reality. They used to be at Sephora. I don't think they're at Sephora anymore. I'm really sad about that. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna find this blush again once I run out, but it is the most incredible blush and it's the perfect color for me. I've tried a million other blushes to try to, you know, compensate and nothing works as well for me. It looks amazing whether I'm tan, whether I'm pale, and then I just dust it onto my lids. This is like lazy makeup, okay? Quick glam we're doing. We're not trying to spend a thousand years. And I'm gonna go into my favorite highlighter, and I have a million highlighters. I love so many of them, but my absolute favorite is still the Becca Champagne Pop. Like, ooh, Jacqueline just fucking nailed it on this one. The texture, I've tried other Becca highlighters. Not into them, sorry, don't like it. This is the one that just Oh my god, it's just so creamy and soft and finely milled and the color is just stunning. It looks great whether I'm tan, whether I'm pale, and then I dust it onto the lids as well. It's just the most absolutely gorgeous color. I'm gonna have to buy it again. I'm, it's just gonna have to happen. Like, oh, come on. The way that it goes on, I feel like it doesn't maximize texture as much as other highlighters that I have. Like, a lot of other highlighters will make your skin look bumpy, you know? But this one, something about the way that it was milled, I don't know, guys. It's just absolutely to die. And then I put a little bit on the tip of my nose, the tip, <laughs> and then going up. That might be a lot. <laughs> That might have been a little much. Don't usually like to have a crazy shiny nose, but um, you got a little carried away. You don't want the shiny part on the underneath of your nose because that's where you contour and that's what makes your nose look shorter and smaller. So yeah, 
but whatever. It is what it is. It's there now, so we're just gonna work with it. All right, then I tried out this Hyper Sharp Liner, Maybelline, and I usually don't like liners like this that come like a marker, but I've been pleasantly surprised that this one has been doing the job, and I got it when we were on tour, and I was at an airport, and I ran out of my liquid liner. I usually use the NYX, but this one, I think it was like eight bucks or something like that, and it's not bad. I like it. Will I purchase it again? I think I'd rather just purchase my NYX liner again but I am not mad at this one and especially if you're somebody that doesn't like to use you know brushes because the NYX liner is a brush if you like the feeling of the marker then you'll like this one and I love to do big fat winged cat eyeliner <laughs> looks I cannot ever seem to leave the house with anything smaller than this I don't know why I don't know what's wrong with me it's really hard for me to talk while I'm doing my eyeliner you guys I just like to make my lashes black so that they blend with whatever fake lashes I'm putting on them and then we're gonna put them on the bottom the bottom lashes are so important you guys I was trying to reach this because I got some mascara under my eye back to what I was saying I was saying that the bottom lashes are super super important to defining your eye and to also making your eye look proportionate to the fake lashes that you put on top it looks so weird have you ever seen somebody that puts on a fake eyelash and doesn't do the bottom lashes it looks weird I'm gonna show you right now because I'll do this one side and then I'll leave the other side blank and you're gonna be like uh -huh. All right, I'm going on a limb today, guys. Trying out new lashes. I bought these at Namie's. These are the Irresistible Synthetic Lashes from Flutter Lashes. They come in a three pack. I really hope I like them. I love Flutter Lashes. Do I like their synthetic ones? I don't know, you guys. Let's see how much I have to cut off of this lash. So first, you kind of want to put it up to your eye and see how much you might have to cut. I wish I could put it use all these lashes but I can't I have to cut off a little bit okay so if they lay like this then that could work that's still like going in hella far though I don't I think I'm gonna cut off another I don't like when my lashes go too far into my eye because it just like it stabs my eye it don't feel good favorite glue is the Kalas C-A-L-L-A-S it works great I love it. The trick to lashes is letting that ish dry. You want it to dry to the point where it is almost completely dry before you put it on your eyeball. And then I kind of push it up like this with my finger to keep it going upwards. I like my lashes to be like, boom like this instead of bam like that you know what I mean just a different style just a different look one's not right or wrong and then I'm just squeezing my natural lashes together with the fake ones so these are very wispy for me they are too wispy so what I would do to remedy that situation is put mascara on them I feel like these are gonna be good ones to layer with other lashes because they're so thin here you can see what I'm talking about like that kind of looks weird when when there's no lashes on the bottom versus this one which is more balanced so the lash doesn't look so crazy I've been wanting to try this one this is the cream sheen Shanghai spice from Mac I've had it forever but I've never tried it like without any lip liner or anything because this is our quick glam okay so let's see what it looks like ooh it's so creamy it looks kind of like a gloss I am not mad at this. What? Why haven't I been wearing this? Girl, Shanghai Spice from MAC. Ooh, see that shine? What is that though? I love it. Okay, let's see how fucked up my hair is. <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of like cute. <laughs> Oh, I forgot one thing. So now we're gonna spray, and I love the Kat Von D Locket Spray. So I'm gonna spray this ish all over my face. If you put on too much powder, this will give you back that like skin like shine again so that you don't look too matte. You don't want your skin to look like dead, you know what I'm saying? I think it came out pretty good for a quick glam. This is my go-to, wanna look hot, sexy, but don't wanna spend a million hours on blending eyeshadows and all that crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? So this is what you're gonna do if you want that 
super sexy, sultry, glamorous look, but it's still relatively fast. Please do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell notifications button because a lot of you guys aren't seeing my video posts. Ah, I know, what are we doing? I love you fam bam and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.